Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanna and today I'm going to take you through this beautiful flow focus on your hips. So nowadays our lives are pretty sedentary and we can carry a lot of tension, a lot of stress in and around the hip area. So today's practice will help you find space in your hips to release that tension will improve uh, your mobility in that area, hopefully increase your strength as well. So today's practice is open to all levels. So just grab your mat and come and join me, but it isn't a beginner's practice. I will give you options, uh, beginner options, but it's, um, it's a faster pace uh, practice. So if you are a beginner, please do not get discouraged and just do as much as you can. Choose the easier variations of the poses and come back in a couple of days time, try it again, come back again, just see how you improve with each time you practice. If you are a beginner, grab a block uh, to help you or two blocks if you have them handy and let's get started. So we're gonna start in a table top position. So onto your hands and knees. So wrists below your shoulders, spread out your fingers out wide, pop your knees under hips, place the tops of your feet on the mat. Breathe in and drop your belly button down towards the mat, opening through your chest, looking straight ahead or looking up. As you breathe out, ground your spine, tuck your chin and tuck your tailbone under. As you breathe, try and connect to your breath and connect to your body. Arriving on the mat. And as you move, just notice if there's any tension, if yes, where that tension is located. And I invite you to add any movement that you feel your body needs at the minute. So you can continue with those cat to cows, but you can invite any movement that you feel would be beneficial before we start our practice today. And breathe. Again, noticing how your body feels, if there are any little aches and pains, if there's any tension. And when you're ready, come back into that tabletop position. Now brace your core, so pull your belly button in towards your spine. Breathe in to lift your right knee off the mat. We're going to start with hip circles. So send that right knee slightly forwards and open it out to the side. And circle around, come back in towards the mat. Do not drop it on the mat. Circle around again. And try and keep your torso as stable as possible. Just focusing all your attention on that circling pattern and change direction. So bring it back around. Very good. And just looking towards the front of your mat, lengthening through your spine. And one more. Very good. Now from here, send your right leg long, flexing through your right foot. You can drop your toes onto the mat um, just to get started. Breathe in. As you breathe out, send your right leg up just to your hip level and lower down slowly. Exhale as you come up. And inhale, lower down. And slowly lower down. Let's go for two more, up, and one more. Lift it up and hold, hold it. Can you pulse it just for a few? Three, two, and one. And now send your knee to meet your left. Keep it off the mat still. Keep your right foot flexed 
nicely breathe and as you breathe out can you send your knee out to the side keeping your foot your ankle aligned with your knee and lower down slowly inhale exhale lift up and slowly lower down try not to shift your body to the side too much and it doesn't matter how high you're going to lift your leg lift your knee but try and lift it up as smoothly as possible and lift it up hold it and relax down you can rock your hips side to side breathe in and breathe out let's bring it to the other side feel free to go into your child's pose for a moment if you need to but as you can can you send your left knee off the mat breathe in and as you breathe out bring it slightly forwards and breathe it open out to the side so back into the circles again take your time and just notice if there's any clicking around the hip area if there's any limitations in your movement um, there's any tension there and change direction and you can notice how your left hip feels in comparison to your right is it a little bit easier to move and let's go for one more and send that left leg along flex through that left foot Press your hands into the mat to separate out your shoulder blades to keep that strong position. Make sure you're not collapsing down. Breathe in as you breathe out. Can you send your left leg up? Inhale, lower down, up. So these lovely warming and breathing exercises will help us warm up the muscles will help us tune into our bodies nicely and we're going to go for one more here hold it to the top and can you hold or can you pulse or bounce a little three two one keep your foot flexed bring your knee in to meet your right breathe in as you breathe out send your knee uh, to the side and come back in exhale come up and slowly come back in and lift up good job slowly come back in and one more hold it to the top just for a second and relax down relax your toes pop your knees out to the side nice and wide big toes together Sit back into your child's pose, stretch your arms forward, rest your forehead on the mat or on a block. Breathe in and breathe out. So again, just notice how your breath feels and how your body feels after this warming sequence. And when you're ready, lift your hips up come into that tabletop position first now tuck your toes under breathe in and send your hips back as you breathe out send your hips up into your first downward facing dog and as always be patient here in this asana rock your hips side to side invite any movement you feel will be beneficial for your practice here and again, don't force anything, just take your time. And when you're ready, find stillness. Straighten your spine, pressing with all 10 fingers in towards the mat. Straightening your spine, breathing and sending your hips up high. As you breathe out, opening through your chest and sending your heels towards the mat a little bit more. Beginners, feel free to go into the child's pose at any time we're in a downward facing dog or at any other time as well. And when you're ready, send your right leg up into your three-legged dog. 
Can you bend through that right knee, opening through your right hip, sending your right knee up and bringing your right heel towards that left butt cheek. Try not to rotate too much. Try and keep your chest square to the mat. Breathe in, send your right leg up and send your right foot down. Pedal out your feet and breathe in. Let's bring it to the other side. And bend through that left knee this time. Open through your left hip. And slowly send your left leg up and drop your left foot down, drop into your knees, sit back into your child's pose. Just for two breaths here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good job. When you're ready, come back in. Back into that downward facing dog just for a moment. And when you're ready, rip the forwards into your plank. And we're gonna go into a low plank. So pop your knees down on the mat. Shift your body weight slightly forward so that you can feel some of your body weight is on your hands. Send your left leg long. As you breathe out, you're gonna rotate onto your right palm and right knee towards the side, keeping that top leg extended and keeping your bottom knee on the mat. Now from here, gently bend through that right elbow. Can you push yourself up into that kneeling position here? Breathe in, breathe out, drive the hips slightly forwards, reach your arms out wide. Inhale, reach your left arm towards that left foot, right arm reaches up and then over, stretching your side body, your side hip. Nice, see, you can look straight ahead or can you look up towards that top hand? Breathe in and breathe out, slowly come back. Back into that side plank, come into your front half plank and drop your left knee on the mat. Let's switch to the other side, sending your right leg long, rotate onto that left knee and left hand. Can you push yourself up? Draw the hips forwards, reach your arms out. Breathe in deep into your chest, breathe out, relax your shoulders. Now breathe in, reach this time your right hand towards your right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. Breathe and look straight ahead or up. And inhale, come back down into that side plank position, into that half plank position. Tuck your toes under, come into a full plank. Breathe and breathe out, push back into your downward dog. Pedal out your feet and when you're ready, find stillness. Now, as we move from your downward dog into any other position, beginners feel free to just bend through your knees and step whatever you need to step. Everyone else, try and send your right leg up into that three-legged dog. We're gonna do it each time before we move. Breathe in, lengthen, and as you breathe out, send your right foot in between your hands to the front dropping your left knee down, relaxing through your back toes. Breathe into that low lunge position. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, driving your hips forward. So you breathe in deep into your hips, lifting your chest. Beautiful. Drop your left hand down on the mat. Breathe and rotate your body towards the right wall. Reach your right arm up, look towards your right fingers and feel free to stay here as you can can you bend through that left elbow and give yourself a gentle push into this twisted low lunge breathe in breathe out can you sink in deeper into this pose 
beautiful breathe in reach your arms overhead and face towards the top or front of the mat breathe in breathe out sink even deeper can you look up inhale exhale frame your front foot tuck your back toes under and send your right leg back into your downward facing dog pedal out your feet breathe in and breathe out let's bring it to the other side so beginners bend through your knees everyone else send your left leg up nice and tall breathe in as you breathe out send your left foot forwards right in between your hands back knee down relaxing through your back toes inhale deep into your chest into your hips into this low lunge position beautiful pop your right hand down on the mat rotate to the left reach your left arm up opening through your chest looking towards your fingers if you can if this is uncomfortable always just look in that neutral position to the side wall and can you bend through that right elbow gently give yourself that little push reaching your arms out to the side in that twisted low lunge breathe in and breathe out can you sink a little bit deeper into this pose inhale arms overhead and breathe out sink a little bit lower inhale exhale frame your front foot tuck your back toes under send your left leg back downward dog breathe in and breathe out feel free to go into your child's pose and um, are we going to stay here for five breaths so just find stillness and work with your breath to find space in this lovely asana breathing into your hips finding length in your spine breathing out and driving your heels towards the mat beautiful let's take one more breath if you were in your child's pose come back and again when you're ready breathe in and send your right leg up or if you're a beginner bend through your knees and sending your hips back and when you're ready send your right foot forward this time outside of your right hand so into that wider runner's lunge now feel free to work with your knee grounded this is more so for beginners and if you can keep your back knee elevated here now we're going to start with just some circles so just invite a little bit of movement into this asana circles one direction you can change direction you can bring your right foot onto the edge opening your knee to the side so whatever you feel you can do a little bouncing but again feel just listen to your body and see what your body might want might need at the minute and again don't force any movement and when you're ready we find stillness so breathe in and breathe out sink your hips a little bit deeper if you can and feel free to stay here if you're on a kneeling lizard position or if you can keep your knee elevated now stay here or if you can feel free to grab your blocks lower your left elbow down onto a block or onto a mat and if you can lower your right elbow onto a block or onto a mat if you're on your knees you're in the same position feel free to if you can open your knee to the side bringing your right foot onto a right edge of your foot rather than keeping it flat on the mat so wherever you are 
Breathe in, deep into your hips, open through your chest. And one more breath. Good job. And when you're ready, slowly come back up. Inhale and exhale. Send your right leg back into your downward dog. You can rock your hips side to side. Very nice. When you're ready, let's bring it to the other side. Breathe in. Send your left leg up. And breathe out. Send your left foot forwards outside of your left hand. And feel free to drop that left knee, or right knee rather, down onto the mat. And again, invite any movement. So you can start with circles and just tune in to your body again and into your breath and then you can change directions and again you can do little bounces or just shifting back and forth or shifting side to side just play with it and see what your body might need and one side might be totally different to the other you might need some different movement on this side so just be aware of that and when you're ready find stillness breathe in and breathe out sink your hips a little bit lower and feel free to stay here or if you can bring your right forearm down on the mat or on the block makes it a little bit easier because you're elevated and if you can bring your left elbow down. Feel free to bring your knee out to the side, bring your, rotate your foot so that your foot is resting just on the outside edge. And when you're ready, two breaths here. And one more breath. And when you're ready, slowly come back. Breathe in. And Breathe that send your left leg back into your downward dog and feel free to drop into your knees now. Keep your knees, thighs together and sit back into this close legged child's pose. Relax your forehead, relax your arms, you can relax your arms by your sides. We have just one more little challenge left. Not a challenge. Uh, one more little pose to try and uh, explore. So come back into the tabletop first. Tuck your toes under. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, send your hips back up into that downward dog. And when you're ready, send your right leg up into your three-legged dog. This time, send your right knee behind your right hand and bring your right foot behind your left hand. We're gonna go into your lovely pigeon pose, extending through that back foot nicely. Now this pose can look totally different for each one of you and that's totally fine. Depending on your hip uh, mobility, how your hips are built, What's important is that your hips are square to the front. So whether your foot is up here or it's close to your groin, doesn't matter. Just whatever makes you or allows you keep your hips nice and square. Use that and then explore from this position. If this is too much for your hips, for your knees, go into this 90-90 position with both knees at 90 degree angle and try and open your chest towards the front and explore this asana. Feel free to use a cushion for your knees if needed or use a block to elevate your hips or a cushion to elevate your hips here. So take a nice and deep breath. Once you find your position, take a nice and deep breath and breathe out 
into this asana. Now, keeping your hands on the mat, but if you can, can you bring your hands to your heart center? Now, this makes it more of an active pose, especially if your hips are elevated, they're not resting or on anything. It makes it that little bit more active, which can build strength, but also active mobility here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's try one more breath. Well done. Now bring your hands or fingertips onto the mat. Inhale to lift your chest and double check your alignment. And as you breathe out, can you walk your hands out onto the forearms or rest your forehead on a block? or on your hands, keeping your hands one on top of the other, making a little pillow from your hands. Or can you rest your head on the mat completely? Wherever you are, we're gonna stay here for three deep breaths. I want you to breathe in deep into your hips as you breathe out. Relax into this asana completely. Sinking it deeper and deeper, finding more and more space. And one more breath. Beautiful. When you're ready, slowly lift your head, your chest. Walk your hands in and send your right knee back just to tabletop position. Rock your hips side to side and just release the hips first. And again, tuck your toes under and send your hips up into your downward facing dog. And let's bring it to the other side. So the same movement, send your left leg up to three-legged dog and breathe out, send your left knee behind your left wrist and right foot behind your right hand. Hips nice and square, sending your right leg long or go into that 90-90 position. So choose whatever is good, still challenging, for you, uh, but a pose that you can explore safely and effectively. So once you're there, breathe in, breathe out, relax into this asana, pop your hands to your heart and this active asana. We're gonna stay here for two more breaths. And one more breath. Beautiful. Pop your hands onto the mat. Again, breathe in to lift your chest and breathe out. Walk your hands out. Forearms on the mat or place one hand on top of the other, resting your forehead on your hands or on the mat. Again, whatever feels good for you at this moment. Inhale, deep into your hips. Exhale, sink deeper and relax into this asana, finding space. Breathing in deep into that space. And as you exhale, explore that space a little bit more. And last one. Very good. Now when you're ready, slowly lift your head, walk your hands in and send that left knee back to your tabletop first. Breathe in, send your hips back, breathe out into your last downward dog of today. Find stillness. 
Breathe in, pressing your hands into the mat, sending your hips up. Breathe out, drive your chest down and drive your heels towards the mat. And one more. Beautiful, drop your knees onto the mat. Knees nice and wide or whatever feels comfortable at the minute but it should feel comfortable in that wide-legged uh, child's pose more comfortable after um, our lovely practice sending your hips back walk your hands out to the front so wide-legged child's pose breathe in reach your arms forwards breathe out send your hips back and bringing your focus inwards to your breath and just noticing how your breath feels after this practice. Just notice how your body feels. How are your hips? How's your spine, your shoulders? Just notice and let it go. If you find any little tension still in your muscles, your joints, breathe into that space. And as you breathe out, relax. And when you're ready, slowly lift your forehead off the mat and walk your hands in, coming into a comfortable seated position. So you can stay kneeling or you can go into a cross-legged position. Feel free to elevate your hips on a block or on a cushion. And once you're there, I invite you to close your eyes or just soften your eye gaze. If you roll, shoulder rolls, back and forth, relaxing your shoulders, sending them slightly further away from your ears, lengthening through your spine and your neck. Now bring your hands to your heart center and bow your head in gratitude. Gratitude for being able to practice yoga. Gratitude to our bodies for allowing us to move, to breathe, to get better and stronger, and gratitude for the yoga practice itself, that it exists and it can help us improve our day-to-day -day life, our bodies, our minds. For all those things, I am grateful. Now take a nice and deep breath all the way down to your belly, in through your nose. Sigh out loud through your mouth and let it go. Beautiful. Blink your eyes open. Thank you so much guys for joining me today on the mat. Well done and hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Keep practicing. Namaste.